Welcome back, you guys. We are here again in the studio. Do you guys like our, our green screen behind yep, us? Yeah, the green screen. Just, just kidding. It's real. It's real. This is my deck here in Montana, and Vina is here with me. And we're, we've we been cranking through this Masterclass series. Hope you guys are enjoying it. This is now video six. 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 And we've got a whole list of videos still to do. And we're really excited about this, Vina. Thank you again for your time, yes. your expertise, being willing to share so openly. Of course. These are things that you I, I haven't seen in very many places. I'm learning so much from you, so thank you again oh for God. that. Thank you for Guys, having me. Guys, we have a playlist, remember? So all these videos we're going to put in that playlist. Mm -hmm. So depending on when you find these videos, be sure to watch them in order. We highly recommend that. Mm -hmm. One other thing is we have a free kit where Vina is giving away all kinds of resources, all designed to help you do your first mm -hmm. fund. Yes. Raise money better, faster, bigger funds. Legally. And legally, <laughs> yeah, because yes. we don't want to go to jail. No, we don't. <laughs> and so this one is really pivotal, I think, in the series here, you mm -hmm. know, because now we're going to talk about where to find investors. Yes. Why is this so important? Well, because this is the first question everyone asks. They go, okay, I have my attorney. I know what I'm going to do. I know what kind of project I'm going to do. Where do I find an investor? Yeah, right. So what I find funny is um, one time early on before I knew as much as I know now, um, I remember talking to a lawyer and they quoted me, okay, here's what I do. And they said, okay, well, once I pay for the fund and, and then what? And he's like, well, you got to go find investors. Go raise the capital. What? You don't provide that too? Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, so that's the question is, where do you find investors? The answer is everywhere. Mm. Investors are literally everywhere. So I, a few years ago, maybe like six years ago, I adopted a mindset from here on out for the rest of my life, I never talk to anybody that is not one of three categories. I love this. I quoted you on, on this, by the way, Did on you? social. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. So it's, you are talking to an investor, a potential investor, or someone who knows an investor. So everybody you talk to is one of those three things. Every single person. They're either an investor, so they have money yeah. to invest. They know somebody who has money to invest. Or they've already invested with you. Or they've already invested with you. Yes. Wow, that's really cool. Because think about it. When you're thinking about accredited investors, right? Almost every accredited investor started out unaccredited hmm. and yeah. then became accredited. Yeah. So I never discount someone just because they're not accredited today. Who knows where they'll be in two years or five years or 10 years? I'm not going anywhere. Or know somebody else who is. Or they know someone who is. Yeah. So when you see people, do you just see like a big dollar sign? Or yeah, do you I, see like yeah, a person Yeah. You know, like there? how you see people that like walk around and then the numbers spin mm -hmm. according to their net worth? That's kind yeah, of what I that's see. That's what you do. Yeah. I see. People are just numbers. No, they have nothing else to offer. <laughs> <laughs> Which not true. I'm teasing. Totally Dana. not true. I mean, this isn't a relationship business. If you see just dollar signs, you will not get very far. Right. And but the point is, is everybody you come in contact with in one way or another can help you raise money. 100%. So if you shut people down just based on your preconceived notions and your judgments of who they are, what they can bring to the table, what value they can add, you're really going to miss out on a lot of opportunity. Well, yeah. Literally, anybody can either be an investor or a potential investor. And you've raised money from somebody you sat next to on a plane yes. or bumped into here or there yeah. in your conversation. Yep. When you're talking to people, Vina, it, part of your conversation is going to some way or another circle back around to what you do. Yep. You're, you're in real estate. Yes. That you are always raising money for deals. Yes. And that's just a great way to yes. transition into conversations. Absolutely. I love airplanes. It's like one of my favorite hacks because I'm like, you can't go anywhere. They're trapped. So, and I like to choose the aisle seat too. So I like extra trap. So you them can in. leave, and they right. Can't leave. If I need to leave, I can leave. But <laughs> if they want to leave, I'm gonna be like, "Excuse me, sir, where are you going?" Right? Like yeah. the, you cannot get off the plane right now. Uh, but Genius. it's one of my favorite places. Even if you're new to raising capital, it's one of the best places to practice. Yeah. Because you have a captive audience for so long, and if it doesn't go well, okay, you probably aren't gonna person. see them again. Right. We tend to be so quick to judge people yep. instead of thinking everybody you bump into could be a potential investor. Absolutely. I think that the thing that people don't realize or don't recognize is wealthy people or rich people don't go around f saying like, oh, hi, I'm Vina Jetty. I'm worth X amount of dollars. It's weird. It's mm -hmm. not a thing. And so you're right. Like prejudging is something that we're very prone to do. Like we're wired to do this. Yeah. And it's really hard to unlearn that and untrain yourself from that because you are just wired to do it and then you're trained like that 
through all ages of your life. So it's unlearning something that's so innate to who we are. Yeah. And I think, Vina, I think the point of this you're talking about is where to find investors is to just to always remember they're all around you. They are. And you talked about on some of your funds where your average investor size was like 175 or 85. Yep. Yeah. Which means, I mean, maybe if you're listening to this, you're like, well, I don't have that much money. But in the big scheme of things, that's not, that's not you know, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, right? No. That's everyday people. For the most it's part, it's like that have small that business owners, doctors, engineers, and and look, that's the average check size. That means that there's plenty of investors that invest at a hundred thousand. And when yeah. I first started, there were plenty of investors that invested at twenty five thousand. Me too. Yeah. So here's what I would tell anybody who's just starting, right? Where where do you find investors, right? And I I know everywhere is kind of like a little broad. Yeah, spray and pray, right? Like that's not what we're trying to do here. So the investor avatar workbook that we have in mm -hmm. the it's a free, free download. Yeah, free credibility kit. Um in that download there's an investor avatar workbook. Once you go through that, what it's really designed to do is to tell you where to go look for your investors. Mm. So I always like to say start with the people that you are comfortable with that you have similarity with, right? Like cuz we're looking for human connection all the time. So my investor avatar is physician families. That's the first one I started with because my husband's a physician. So this is a natural. natural conversation. These are natural circles that I'm running in. Yours might be other wholesalers or flippers, or maybe mm -hmm. it's people from your church, which you're very active in, right? Mm -hmm. Those are your, that's your initial circle that you're starting with. And what will happen is you'll go to these places and then you'll go, oh, okay, wait, these aren't the people I need to speak to. So we're talking about the hotel fund, right? Yeah. And you're saying wholesalers, flippers, they don't get it. Like yeah. private money lenders on my wholesale deals. Those are not my investors on this deal, right? We talked about that. So now you need to be thinking like, okay, who are your investors, right? Are they people from your church? Maybe that there's probably a lot of doctors mm -hmm. there. There's probably a lot of, I mean, you guys are very educated. As I've actually put some thought culture. into this since oh, you, you told have. me that. Yeah. Do you want to hear, hear yeah. my idea? On yeah, it? I do. So, okay. So just give some context here. Um, if you haven't seen the previous videos, hopefully you have, but we're using me doing a fund, which Vina is helping me and, and Nick's helping me create a fund to buy hotels in Puerto Rico. So it's a specific Puerto Rico Niche, is the yep. is the market and hotels is the is the asset class. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been raising money with the wrong type of investors. Well, one thought I had, Vina, was there are other dudes like me and, and girls like me that mm -hmm. are in Puerto Rico for what's called Act 60, which is the tax mm -hmm. incentive I do. And there's a whole bunch of guys like me. And, and why are they there? Like me. They're there for the income tax credits that you get by living and doing business in Puerto Rico. It's because they make so services. much money. Yeah, because they make so much money. Well, I'm thinking, well, they're already there doing one tax incentive. How much easier would it be for them to, for me to say to them, Brilliant. hey, there's some real estate tax incentives on top of the ones you're already getting. Brilliant. They already live there, you know, at I least half the year. I love that. And you know they're what wealthy. makes it, you know, what makes it even more of a brilliant strategy is not just that they're already living there, but they already have a tax problem that they have taken pretty drastic steps to solve. There's not a lot of people yeah. that are going to move to Puerto Rico for 181 days out of the year. Right. No, these are typically you don't you don't do what I'm doing unless unless you're saving at least half a million dollars in taxes or more or more or you wouldn't do it because yeah, it's too it's much. Not worth it. Too much you're hassle. Right? The family. Yeah, it's, it's like a lot. lot. It's yeah, a lot. It's a yeah. lot of commitment. So I love that because these are people that already have tax problems. They've already gone well out of their way mm -hmm. to resolve them. They already know the island and you're one of them. And a lot of them know me because I'm kind of loud. Right, of right? course. So a lot of them know me. Absolutely. You're you're the big man on campus. Yeah. I love I'm, it. I'm like the big fish in a small pond sort of. Yeah. No, I love it. And I think that that is great because now you're just giving them another option to solve more tax issues, which they have. Mm -hmm. And if they're trying to save half a million dollars in taxes, they want to save more than that if they yeah. can. And they're investors. Like they want to invest, they, a lot of them. Yep, Business they understand. Business owners and investors. I love that. You love that. that avatar? Love that avatar. I can't believe you haven't been doing that already. I know. Why haven't I been doing that? What because I didn't doing? understand I, I didn't understand the avatar. Yeah. Thank you. And now you know that. Ah, oh, that's so good. I would encourage you guys to think about where your potential investors might be and what, what areas you're already in or you're interested in, right? Like, is it the PTA? Is it your golf mm. club? Is it a charity event do you know how many rich people go to charity events all rich right people, yeah. seriously yeah. because philanthropy is a really big thing mm -hmm. and i think that's actually what's really fun we we're talking about diminishing returns but that's what's fun about 
kind of getting over that hump of like, okay, the family is set now. And we've now started like looking at generational wealth. It's now we get to do more impact, impact. stuff. So you have to go and look at rooms where there are not people there. Like I am often in rooms where I'm the only real estate person in the room. Mm. And I love that because now I can share something that's unique. It's a unique value proposition, right? So, so I think I think the big takeaway I'm getting, Vina, from like where do you find investors is just to stop, to change your mindset that they're far and few between yeah. or they're hidden in some kind of secret room, mm -hmm. you know, place somewhere or that they're hard to access or that you have to have connections no. or all these things that we tend to, we create all these roadblocks that are just not true. It's so, that is absolutely correct. This is a mindset issue. It's a vulnerability issue. It's an intimidation issue, right? Because it's scary to go to somebody you don't know and, ask and for introduce money. yourself and yeah, ask for money. It's yeah. very intimidating. And the more you do it, the more comfortable you get doing it. Like I look at your $65 million fund. How are yeah. you gonna how are you gonna fund that deal or that fund? One and at a time. One bite at a time. Best one way to get investor an elephant, at a time, right? One hundred thousand dollar, one three hundred thousand dollar investor at a time. Yep. That's, that's how. So the best way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. Awesome. Love that. So, I hope you guys got some good nuggets out yes. of that. Guys, we're gonna wrap up this video. We've got so much more to cover. So please be on the lookout for video more videos coming out in this series. Vina Jetty is breaking it all down, laying it all out for us on how to do a fund in yes. real estate and raise money for real estate. Um, just a couple things, guys. I'm gonna put Vina's information below in the description so you can follow her, learn more from her. Uh, we have our free the the free kit, the, yes. the credibility kit or the resource kit that's gonna give you some amazing downloads. And guys, we're excited to to continue in this journey with you and we'll see you on the next video.